hello guys i'm happy to meet you once again in this new video where i'm going to show you a new excel trick it's about how to use an image chart in excel so as per usual i'm going to do a demonstration by an example let's consider this case where we have the sieve analysis result of a sample of soil and the question here is does this soil comply with the specifications of the contract in order to answer this question we are going to import here the specifications of the contract which is nothing but an image chart so we go to insert then we choose picture this is our specification which is as you can see an image chart the extension is a g gpg so i insert it here in excel this is a specification the graph of the final element versus the, the, the diameter of uh, the each sieve must lie in this range so we are going to plot this graph and check whether it is lying in this range or not so in order to plot the graph in excel we go to insert then we go to graph we choose this type of graph then coming here we do we right click and we choose select data we choose add then we put the name of the graph we're going to put granulo here on the x-axis we put the opening of each sieve and on the y-axis we put the final element percentage and we put ok so for the graph to be good we should put the x scale at the logarithmic scale so we double click and we come here on a logarithmic scale after we don't want this vertical axis to cross our graph so we are going to shift it to shift we choose here value of axis or uh, axis value then we choose here 0 0.0 0 0.0 let's say 0 1 and we press enter so that is it now we want that this graph should lie on this chart therefore we are going to remove the background of this graph to remove the background we double click here on the empty space and we come here we choose this and we choose this option so as you can see the background of my graph has disappeared and i can see it directly lying on the the chart now i can remove the graph axis by coming here on the plus and on checking this good so this is our graph now which li which is lying on the chart now the last step is to arrange the scale for example here the maximum value on my vertical axis is 120 whereas on my chart it is 100 so i must have the same value of maximum value here on the on on both uh, axis so i'm going to change the value here instead of 120 i'm going to put 100 so i double click and i come here on axis option then i choose here and i change i put instead of 120 i put 100 and i press enter so that is it now i can shift in such a way that i superimpose the different values so my 0 0.01 which is this must lie on my 0 0.01 on my horizontal axis so i double click here again to have instead of 0 0.1 0 0.01 i come here again on axis option axis option and the minimum value i choose 0 0.01 i press enter now i can super i can uh, superimpose the values this is my 0 0.01 on, on the graph and this is my 0 0.01 on the chart i can shift 
I can move it, move my graph, and good. Now, this is this is one on uh, on my chart, and this is one on my graph. So I can stretch it in order to have the both both value superimposed. So that is it so the superimposition on the horizontal axis is good now let's check the vertical axis 100 must be on 100 so i can stretch again i can stretch i can stretch a little bit and it is okay now i can delete this vertical axis and delete this horizontal axis good so you see it's just like my graph has been has been plotted on this abacus or uh, on this uh, chart and you see that my graph is more or less in the specification of the contract so the conclusion is that uh, our soil complies with the specifications of the contract if it's all for this trick if it has been interesting just like and subscribe to our channel in order to receive the notifications of the next videos and uh, don't forget to put your remarks in comments so that we can improve ourselves ciao